In the vast deep force of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. O oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now, find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Nalbi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world depends upon thee. So yeah, hello everybody. Welcome to Legend of Zelda, Orcarina of Time. To replace Banjo-Tooie, obviously. Now, I'll admit, during like these weird cutscene bits, I tried everything in my power to keep the leg spikes to a minimum. Uh, there isn't anything else that I can do to stop it from lagging, so there may be some spikes, but it seems to own, like, I played it for a little bit yesterday, and outside of, like, the cutscenes, I didn't have any real lag, so I don't know why the cutscenes have, like, have, like, the giant lag spikes like that, but hopefully they'll be kept to a bare minimum, especially, like, during gameplay. Uh, I'm not doing any more voices, by the way. I read the Deku Tree stuff because it, it was there and I was bored. But I'm not gonna fucking try and make a voice for Navi or because none of the characters in this game obviously have voice actors. Uh, so I mean, I'm not gonna try coming up with voices for every single character. Uh, so you will have to read what's on the screen if you don't know the story behind this game already. Uh, ugh. But yeah, this is Link. Apparently he's a lazy fuck uh, who never got a fairy. And that's Navi. That's going to be our fairy for the rest of this game until what, Link's fairy for the rest of the time until what, Majora's Mask, right? Then Navi gets taken and he gets stuck with some other fairy. Actually, do you even have Navi? I've never played Majora's Mask, so I don't know if you even have Navi at the beginning of that. I know you get a different fairy that isn't Navi, but... Which I think is weird, because I mean, since Majora's Mask does continue off of this game, I, I don't know why they would bother. I mean, I'm assuming that there is some story reason behind it. Uh, but I don't know. But yeah, this is Link's house. He lives in a tree. See? Link's house. And then this is the drawing that he made. Uh, if I can get the camera to change, there we go. Look, it's Link slain, Link slain a big monster with a fairy. Man, I wonder if that'll come to pass. This is Saria, or Saria. I don't know which way it's pronounced, and I'll probably flip-flop between them as I play. But this is Link's best 
friend, I guess. Uh, as far as I'm aware, Link's only friend. And, you know, his main squeeze, since that he's like, you know, eight. No, actually, no, let's see, he, he's ten, right? Because when you get the Master Sword, you get locked away for seven years. And I'm pretty sure that Adult Link is 17, so I'm pretty sure you're 10 right here. Uh, but yeah, she's more or less, I guess, I mean, I mean, I feel like, I don't know, like, I don't know if Link is necessarily, like, not bullied or anything. I feel like he's more or less just, like, ignored. Uh, so if you haven't played this game... Navi will come up with stuff for you every now and then to go, hey, listen, and then if you hit up on the, well, normally it would be like the C buttons if you're playing this on the N64, or on the GameCube it was the C stick. For me, it's the right stick, which is more or less the same as the GameCube version. And this is the GameCube version, by the way. So yeah, this is Mido. He's a dick. Uh, so yeah, he won't let you go see the Deku tree because I'm not a real man says the shrimp fry here. Um, but yeah, even though he's like, haha, you don't have a fairy. But, even though we do have a fairy, uh, he still won't let us go see him until we get a sword and a shield. Which is a real dick move, because... Uh... <laughs> now here's the thing, right? With the Kokiri in this game. I feel like it's weird that they're kids. Because nothing about them, at least not that I'm aware of, really gets put into much detail. Like, does the Deku tree grow them out the ground? Uh, do they actually reproduce? Do they come from some other method that I don't know, like, uh, like just created? Uh, so yeah, you can barge into everybody's houses. Rupees and went shopping at the store that has a... oh yeah. Yeah, a green one is worth one, a blue one is worth five, and a red one is worth 20. Yes, and the gold one is worth 200. Is there more than that? I feel like there was a 50, but that could just be me. Um, but yeah, so we need a shield. The only place to get a shield at this early in the game is to buy one. Uh, it costs 40 rupees. And uh, now, here's the thing, right? You don't have to do this, but what I like to do is I like to go around and they have like blue rupees which are worth five just kind of like around and i like the fee and i like to think that it's like their version of a tutorial you know where it's like hey find all the blue rupees and you can afford the shield now obviously you don't need to there are other ways to get the rupees uh or to get the 40 rupees that you need uh but, you know, I, you know, it's just, like I said, it's, uh, I treat it kind of like a tutorial, you know? You know, go explore, do stuff, you know? Um, now, you may notice that this game definitely looks better than it did on the GameCube, and that's because I did uh, install a graphics pack for it on the emulator. Now, the thing is, right, is uh, it's still running at the 20 frames. I know that you can in, or that you can do a thing to uh, to get it up to 30 frames a second. Every time I did it, and I could do it, but every time I activated the 30 frames, it would it would it wouldn't work. Like I would activate the 30 frames, and it would go fine for like maybe a couple minutes. And then all of a sudden it would break, it wouldn't stay at 30 frames, and uh, when it wasn't at 30 frames, Link would be slow as fuck. Like, super fucking slow. Um, so that's the Kokiri Sword, uh, which is actually another part that I want to talk about. So, like, he says that you can't have a, or that you can't go without a sword and shield, right? Which I say is a dick move, because that is the only sword in this place. Um... Which leads me to believe that these guys don't fight. At all. Um, so, like, I don't know what purpose they serve. For the Deku Tree is the same thing, right? Like, you would assume that there would be some kind of, like, protection squad, right? Like, they're children, so people under will underestimate them. Now, what is this place? House of the Know-It-All Brothers. Yeah, I don't think that there's anything. I'm not going to talk to everybody, by the way. 
I know that I do tend to talk to everybody in these in games, but not in this one. There's a lot of people to talk to, and none of them are useful. <laughs> like, it's a trend in this game, by the way, with like, there's like a bunch of something, but none of it's useful. Um, but I'll get into that later. Uh, but yeah, so like, you would assume that the Kokiri like do something, but they don't seem to do anything besides just live here. Like, as far as I know, they don't really care for the Deku tree at all. Like, they don't go and, like, prune its branches or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. That there's just, like, a bunch of children. And then, like, later, I, I'll, assuming that they're the same thing, they turn into, like, plants in one of the Zeldas. All the Kokiri are just, like, the little plant guys. I think that's what they are. Maybe they have a different name and it's not really them. Uh, this one has a piece of heart, so I'm not gonna, or not a piece of heart, <laughs> a piece of heart, I'd be opening that shit right quick. Uh, but no, it has a, uh, a recovery heart in it. Uno Moss, come on. There it is. Uh, now I don't know if there is enough blue rupees, because obviously, like, five of our rupees came from just running in the grass and getting... Yeah, I'm not gonna look this way for him. Also, you're supposed to be shopping. What are you doing on the roof? But anyway, what she all she wants to tell you is that if you have somebody that's out of reach and you use the targeting, you can speak to them from a distance. That's it. Um, it's something that I will not be using very often. But yeah, this is the shop. This is probably one of the few times that you're ever actually going to see me buy something. Because uh, outside of this shield and a few of the upgrades, I think... Uh, which aren't even technically in shops. Uh, you don't have to buy anything in this game. At all. Uh, everything that you need to beat this game is 100% obtainable free. There are There is one other shield that you can buy, but you can get one for free. Also, this here is uh, Dickhead's house, I do believe. Oh, no, this is the House of Twins. Which one's Mido's house? Not with Sarah's. I think Mido's house might be the one that we went in and robbed. Right? Let's check out Sarah's house. Were we in here? Ah, oh, see, look, she's just a lovely person. Her house is bigger than mine. Even though it looks the same size. Roughly. Well, maybe not. I mean... Yeah, okay, yeah, all right. That may honestly be the first time I've ever been in her house. I, it's, it's a game that doesn't really reward exploring very much. Yeah, yeah, dickhead, look, I got a sword, I got a shield, get out the way before I show you how to use them, or how I use them. Um, but yeah, I don't know if these guys can fight or anything, they don't really show... Like, that, like, he talks about that his equipment isn't ready, which, you know, he might have some. But, I mean, the sh shop only sh ah, only sells a shield. Um, and you can actually get free versions of this shield, but they're much later in the game. Well, not much later. There's, I think, one free Deku shield in, uh, in the second dungeon. And then in the last dungeon, there I think there might be two. Uh... But that's only because in those dungeons you can lose your shield. Got a Deku stick. Which, sadly enough, I learned that the Deku stick stronger than my sword right now, as it turns out. Like, if I use the stick, I will do more damage than if I swing with my sword. Now, for most enemies, at least this early on, not that big of a deal, and in all honesty, I'm not going to bother. It's not a big enough deal for me to to worry about it. Hey, and we're back at the Deku Tree. Uh. Ooh. It's also really weird that he's the one that's like, thou, thou hast, you know, the stuff like that, right? Like, as I don't think anybody else really talks about it. Um, but yeah, servants of evil gain strength. Now, here's the thing, right? He says that it's the servants of evil. But, I don't know. A lot of stuff in this game doesn't really... It just kind of like, oh, it's 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 happened. 
So, like, he's been cursed, right? Uh, by Ganon, shockingly enough. Uh, if you've ever played a Zelda game, Ganon is the main bad guy. But he was cursed by Ganon. But you can talk to everybody in the place, and nobody mentions the giant dude in black armor that showed up to, to this place. And if you look around, it's not like he has another entrance he can come by. And, like, at least at this point, they, they don't really make it seem like Ganon can fly. Um, I'm looking back here because I want to say that there's something. I'll, it might just be that. I'll check the other side, but that might just be what I was thinking of. Ow. Oh, also, if you target an enemy and hit up, it's a Deku Baba. Uh, Navi will give you some information about the about the plants or about the enemies that you target. Uh, yeah, just the one. Just gonna go for it for the stick. Uh, that way. Oh yeah, and now we got a stick. And now we have a sword. Uh, okay, so like, and I like, as for what I'm going to like, I've been contemplating about what exact, like, whether or not I'm going to show you everything. Because I do plan to 100% this game. I refuse to play this game and not 100% it. Is this still the same? Yeah, hit it when it lunges at you and it will stand upright. Cut it quickly to get a deco stick. Oh, good god. And now we got a deco nut! So the deco nut is a stun item. Uh, you toss it down, and it'll just go, it'll just like pop, and then whatever you, or whatever sees it will get stunned. Oh wow, they gave me five, wow. Uh, also these grass patches will regrow, like not over time or anything, like you can stat, well I guess it is technically over time, but. Look, look Link, you can see down below this web using up. Yeah, so if you look, oops, it's inverted as it turns out, you can see down there. What would he do? Yeah, try it again. I'm ready for you this time. So yeah, if you do it when they lunge at you, it'll take... Uh, obviously, it's less dangerous. And you get a stick. If you just hit them twice uh, when they're not lunged, uh, you'll get the nuts from it. Uh, but yeah, like, I don't know, because, like, there's a hundred Skulltulas, Skulltulas, I don't, once again, I'll probably switch between them, because I don't know which is correct. Uh, these things, this is a Skullwaltula, or a Skullwaltula, you know, it depends on whether you pronounce it like Tarantula or not. Oh no, yeah, it's a chest that ha I think this is the map. Alright. Blue chambers are places you have already visited. Your current location is the flashing room. Move up and down to select a floor to view. Uh, the maps in this game, I gotta say, really, it, it's a really good map. Uh, the only thing that I would like, which I want to say Resident Evil probably has, like, the upgraded version of the Zelda map. Because, like, this one is like, oh, the flashing room is where you are. And the blue ones is where you've been. Uh, the only thing, though, is that like Resident Evil has another color oops, um, that tells you when you've got everything in a room. So yeah. Oh yes, and you can climb on that wall, which isn't a surprise. Uh, but obviously, you can get past those things, by the way, uh, if you climb it properly. Yes, thank no thanks, Navi. I know how to open the door. Um, but it, you, you gotta be really careful about it. Oh no, whatever shall I do? That's right. So yeah, the Deku Shield can, uh, reflect stuff. These little twerps here, they just give, they just gives you a hint. 
Yeah, if the cliff is really, really high. So yeah, that's just saying that if you're holding forward when you jump off of something, he'll do a roll at the end of the jump and you won't take damage. Obviously, if it's too high, he'll still take damage. But, you know, what can you do? Um, but yeah, as for like what I'm going to show, like there's a hundred Sculptulas. Uh, they have various uses. Uh, I want to say that 50 of them is really the only useful because you get like a reward of 10, 20, 30, I think 40 and 50. And then once you get all 100, you get infinite money, basically. Uh, but by the time that you get all 100 of them, you have no need for the money. Like literally zero point to it. Uh, like I said, uh, there's not really going to be anything that I'm going to buy. Unless it's something that I'm forgetting about, I honestly cannot think of anything that I need to buy in this. Let's see, do I want, I do want to switch those actually. Um, but like, I do plan on getting all 100 of them anyway. Uh, oh, just a recovery heart. If I know what's in a chest, like out in the world, and I know that it's crap, I'll probably ignore it. Oh yeah, so if you jump on that thing in the middle, it will, uh, it'll collapse as you'll see in a second here. And then you're supposed to knock down the ladder because you can use that to jump across. Oh, actually, come to think of it. Let's see, how's my aiming? Oh, that's good. All right. I was just checking because sometimes on emulators, the aiming with stuff isn't the best. Uh, but it seems all right. So thankfully, outside of a few enemies, if you've watched very many of my videos, you'll know that I don't much care for respawning enemies. And uh, thankfully, this is not a game with respawning enemies. Um, they'll respawn if you leave an area. So, like, we're going to go up here and go through a door. When we go through the door, these guys are going to respawn, right? Um, uh, but obviously, that's not really a big deal. Because uh, we won't be climbing down the wall. So, let's see. This, I think, is the only... Yeah, there's only one room up here. So primary use of a Deku stick is this, by the way. Oh, put it away. It's just to open up those. Or it's just to like light stuff on fire, basically. Like I said, it does technically do more damage than my sword right now, but... Also, these guys will respawn. They're just basically free sticks. That's their only purpose. The ones that actually lunge at you won't respawn. And by respawn, I mean, like, while you're in the room. Hey, we got the compass. Now we can see the locations of many hidden things in the dungeon, which is kind of a lie. It'll show you where all of the chests are. But even then, as you can see, we only have two chests. One, yeah, two chests to find. But even then, if you have a room where, uh, or a chest that, like, requires you to do something... Uh, to get it So like there's like a group of enemies or something you have to kill them all and then the chest appears I don't think that the compass shows you those Or if there's like a hidden chest, you know, uh, that you can't see I don't think it shows you those either But these are the gold sculptulas Like I said, there's a hundred of them in the world uh, And you need to get all of their tokens in order to get the rewards. Whoops. You can't kill those big ones, by the way. I'm not just ignoring them to ignore them. I just haven't had a need to kill one, right, yet. But here. Oh, apparently, God, apparently the emulator doesn't like the jump attack, damn. Well, maybe it was just the spider didn't like it. I don't know. Either way. So now if we line ourselves up and go, huh? Oh, too far. 
Ah, oh, damn. Well, I guess we are going to deal with those, uh... <sighs> with those guys on the wall again. Uh, the nice thing about this game is, like... If there's ever, like, a... I'm gonna say the word challenge, it might be, you know, giving it too much credit. Uh, but if there is ever a thing, like, right here, right? Like, to climb up the wall, you technically don't have to, uh... Oh, yeah. And then this is the Deku Seeds, which is what we're shooting out of our uh, slingshot. Um, but yeah, if there's ever anything like that, they're gonna have some way for you to get the item you need to accomplish it. Um, either in the room with the challenge or, like, somewhere easily accessible. Like, in that room, to exit it, you needed to, uh... Uh... Oh yeah, if you hit their face, then they just do that. But yeah, uh, you needed a stick so that you could light the thing on fire, right? And then they had the enemies that respawn and give you sticks. Uh, and then, like, you know, if you need to use Deku seeds for it, or, like, if you need to use your slingshot for anything, they'll have a way. Oh, damn it, and I missed it again. You have to land more or less centered in there. I... I I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I keep missing it. It's honestly a little embarrassing. Um, but yeah, they're going to have a way to uh, to replenish any of your consumables that are required. Now, like Deku Nuts, I honestly don't. I think that you could play the entire game and never use a Deku Nut. Um, they're useful against certain enemies, like the Deku Babas down there that actually lunge at you. If you use one on them... There it goes. Uh, that'll also make them stand upright. Okay, so we actually have two gold sculptulas here. Oh, well, come on. Go. Now this one, obviously, easy enough to get. Just climb up and get it. Now the other one uh, does take a little bit more to get. Um, but yeah, like I said, there is a hundred of them, and I don't know if I will be showing you all hundred of them. Because, um, I mean, like, pretty much the only thing in this game that I'm really not sure of showing you guys is, uh, it's like the gold sculptulas, they may not be the most interesting, but they're quick, you know? Like, there's not a whole lot to them. So it wouldn't take very long. Like, you know, obviously I'll be collecting the ones in the dungeon as I go through the dungeon. It's just like the, the ones out and about or the ones that you have to like, for example, there's one in here or in this dungeon that you can't get yet. Anyway, I don't know why those things are kicking my ass so hard. Um, but yeah, there's one in here that you can't get because you need, you at least need bombs from the second dungeon. I can't remember if you need the boomerang to collect it or not. Maybe, I'm not sure. Um, but either way, like, do I want to come, like, do I want to come back here in a video? Oh no. As soon as you get close to these guys, they don't want to get cut, so they're like... Uh, no, I'll, I'll tell you something if you let me live. Yeah, yeah, unless you beat them in the order. Two, three, one. Which is, honestly, you know what? That may be, like, whenever I have, like, one, two, and three, and, like, oh, you gotta do it in the right order, though. I feel like I always assume it's two, three, one. It may very well be because of this game. Uh, you also have these kinds of switches. Which you just shoot them. With whatever, when you're a kid, it's a slingshot. When you're the adult, it's, uh... It's the bow. Oh, uh, yeah, there is. I don't think that's in this room. Because, like, with this texture back, I don't know if they did anything different. If you hold down A, you can dive. Bet there are some interesting things underwater. Well, uh, you would lose that bet. Now, here's the thing. 
can you do that here or do you have to? No, I think you have to do this. Because like if you do this, as you can see there, you got three seconds of air. Link has the lung capacity of, well, me, sadly enough. Um, I don't know if this, I think you don't even have to hit that switch. You might just be able to duck under. Uh, you can also, uh, damn it. That's why you want to do the jumping attacks on these guys, because otherwise it takes two hits. Yes, yes, stand next to the blocks, and then you can push and pull it. Um, a lot of puzzles in this game involve that. Involve pushing blocks. Uh, very few of them are actually puzzles. I, I said puzzles, and then I immediately regretted it, because the puzzles literally look at the block and just push it to the opposite end of where the block is in the groove. Like, there, I, I don't think that there are any blocks in this game that actually require you to decide where it goes. Now, is it this room? No. Okay, now I'm gonna wait. Oh, you know what? I could have also just done that. Oh, see, yeah. I also gotta learn to shield more. Yeah, whatever. Now, is it this room? Okay. Guess not. I, there's a room with a fake wall. I don't know why I'm looking for it. I can't do anything with it anyway, but... Ah, uh, why they do that, I don't know. Really don't. But in this room, if you look up, you can see these little sacks up there. They are a rather annoying enemy, but as long as you don't step in the middle, they, uh, they won't spawn. go. Uh, but yeah, this here is the wall that you can explode, but we obviously don't have bombs. I also feel like this room is a lot bigger than it normally is. Uh, I don't know how much they changed. Like, I don't think they actually changed anything for the text, like anything like that anyway for the texture pad. Uh, but yeah, as you see there, they put that plant there. Uh, I guess if I had ran this way, it would have been a little bit shorter. Anyway, this is a Goma larvae. Look out when it gets ready to pounce. Like that. Oh, oh fuck. Ah, yes. Zelda. Another game where just touching an enemy hurts you. But yeah, obviously if I went in the middle, you know, you can spawn all three of those and fight them. But... No reason to in this game. Uh, yeah, one of the few games where it's like, unless an enemy is in your road, eh. Oh, and actually, and as you see, my consumables are actually full right now. So, uh, oh, whoops. So, uh, I don't care enough to kill those guys. Now you might be thinking, can't I just use that thing over there and burn that web in the middle? And you would be incorrect, because even though Link could clearly use his arms to lift that stick high enough to light it on fire, uh, he's not that smart. Which is just sad, honestly. Also, every once in a while you'll probably see me like pull out a stick or something, and uh, or if I have the stick out, you know. Oh, come on there, though. That is purely because I am trying to uh, turn the camera with the right stick, which obviously does not work. Alright. Oh, oh, come on. So I have more or less a plan. 
for these videos. Like this one here, uh, we're gonna get out of the forest and that'll be it. So yeah. Now, these guys make very little sense. Cause it's like, oh, you can't defeat them unless you hit them in the right order. In reality, that order has got to be like 100% made up by them. Like, there's no real, like, rhyme or reason behind it, but... I, I know your secret because uh, your brother revealed it. Oh no, the secret of Queen Goma. In order to administer the Coupe de Grasse to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Yeah, are you really sorry about that? You just sold out your queen. Uh, but yeah, like this one here, we're going to get out the forest. The next thing we're going to do, I hope everything up to the second dungeon. Uh, or up to going up Death Mountain. And then hopefully like going up Death Mountain and doing the second dungeon will be uh, my Friday's video. Also, if you're seeing this on a Sunday, it means that my Xbox has finally crapped out. And, uh, and I couldn't record anything. If you're seeing this on a Monday, odds are it will be Assassin's Creed tomorrow. Oh no, the parasitic armored arachnid. Yeah, so this is Goma. Oh, you know what? There it is. Yeah, where are you going? I uh, did not realize that she actually went down. Oh, yeah. So, Goma, it's one of the parasitic monsters inside the Deku Tree. Its eye is vulnerable when it's red. I uh, honestly did not realize that she did this after one hit. I would have done a jump attack otherwise. So, yeah, now she goes up there. Oops. Oh, come on. Damn it. And if you don't get up there, or if you don't shoot her fast enough, she spawns the little fucks. But if you shoot her while she's up there and her eye is red, uh... Uh, then she will, uh, fall down and be stunned. I don't know if this will work. It might. I honestly forgot that you could Z-target while she was up there. Yeah, 100% works. Huh. Oh, I got two attacks. Three at jump attacks. Oops. Oh, went away that time. That's fine. Uh, yeah, most enemies in this game, as you can tell, bosses included. Once you know how to defeat them, it's real easy. Um... And there we go. Uh, you basically always want to go for jump attacks because that'll get you obviously more damage. Uh, I don't know how. I think jump attacks might do more than twice the damage because obviously they take longer. Uh, you also have the, your classic Zelda spin attack, you know, where you can either hold it and spin, or if you know, you know, just spin the stick and spin or hit B. And we got our first health increase. We'll be getting a a lot of those. Well, I mean, we'll begin as many as there are bosses. We'll begin a lot of health increases, though. Uh, once we start collecting pieces of heart and that. Well done, Link. All right. So now we get a little bit of a story. Thou, yeah, demonstrate thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Uh, wouldst thou listen? I, I'm pretty sure even if you hit no, he tells you anyway, so, I mean. There's really no reason to, uh, not.
But yeah, now he just basically gives you like the whole backstory. I was like, haha, this is Ganon. He uses his sorcery to try and find the sacred realm connected to Hyrule. So that he can find the Triforce. It contains the essence of the gods. Before time be gone, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Furor, the goddess of courage. Din. With her strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the Red Earth. Nehru poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Furor. With her rich soul produced all life forms who would uphold the law. And apparently some who wouldn't. Although, to be fair, create the laws of the world. That depends, I guess, on what you consider the laws of the world. Because, I mean, when I was a kid, so the three great goddesses, their labors complete, departed for the heavens and created the Triforce. Anyway, when I was a kid and I always heard that, I was like, that's weird. She made laws like, you know, don't kill and whatnot. Uh, but I'm assuming, you know, now that I'm older and not a dumb kid, that that meant, like, physics and shit, you know? Like, she created, you know, like, gravity, physics, yada, 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 everything that, you know, science, basically. Um, yes, cannot let desert man in black armor... Uh, must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. Uh, the evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. I mean, he infected you with a parasite. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. Ugh, this is Hyrule's final hope. Link, go now to Hyrule Castle, and there thou wilt surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Oh, oh, take this stone with you, the stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse on me. Yeah, he was good enough to cast the curse and fucking take out the Deku Tree, but he couldn't get the rock from it. Like, I find Ganon's amount of power to be really, like, weird in this game, you know? Like, he's strong enough to fuck everything up. But he's not strong enough to, like, get the shit that he needs, you know? Yeah, this Kokri Emerald. Spiritual Stone of the Forest. Mm -hmm. The future depends on us, because we are courageous. And then he gives us Navi to help. And then I'm assuming he'd be grown in there. I don't know. How does a tree talk? I mean, like, it has a mouth, but, like, its mouth is either fully closed or fully open. So. Alright. So now the tree's dead. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, he did die. How could you do a thing like that? It's all your fault. Of course it isn't, you dick. So yeah, I don't... Now, here's the thing. I don't think that everybody blames you for it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be allowed to come back, obviously. 
but it's still kind of a dick move. Now you might think it's like, oh, well, Sari was waiting for us, right? Where is she? Is she here? No, that's weird. Maybe she's in her house, you know, got tired of waiting for us. Not that we were gone for that long. I mean, yeah, not even an hour. Okay, but nope, she's not in her house. It's like, I wonder if she waited in my house. I'm not going to go look. She's not there. I'm just going to tell you. Uh, now, technically, we could go into the Lost Woods right now and do stuff. Uh, but I'm not going to. Because uh, I don't see the need to. Oh yeah, and also this guy here, until you kill the Decker Tree, he wouldn't let you leave. Yeah, we'll die if we leave the forest. You're not going to try to leave the forest, are you? It's fine. I'm not a Kokiri. I'm a Hylian. Look, Saria was, leave was waiting for us to try and leave. For some reason. Yeah, you knew that we would leave the forest someday, but you're waiting out here specifically today. Because you are different from me and my friends. Yep. But that's okay, because we'll be friends forever. Because through the power of friendship, we will persevere. Alright, so she gives us an Orcarina. It isn't the Orcarina time, but it functions exactly the same as the Orcarina time. Uh, it's the fairy orcarina. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Play different notes with A and the 4C, B to quit playing, or start your song over again. When you play my orcarina, I hope you will think of me and come back to the forest to visit. I mean, there's at least one song that I'll play on it that will... Make me think of you, just mainly because it's literally called Saria Song. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, it's weird. I, I like. Here's the thing, right? And it's always the thing that that I always think of whenever I see like a race in a game that's either a kid permanently, like the Kokiri, or they have them age slower. Therefore, they're kids longer, you know, like, let's say elves in most things, right? Like, it, watch an anime with an elf. There'll be an elf that looks 10 and they're like, aha, but they're like 130. But they still act like they're 10. Which is weird to me. <laughs> because they have 130 years of experience, you know? Oh yeah, and here's this prick that interrupts us constantly. And honestly, we have no explanation about this owl. I don't understand why this is a thing. Like, at no point does this owl really come into play. Like, he just shows up, tells us that, you know, shit's gonna get rough. And then tells us that we need to go to the castle and, and find the princess, which we already knew. Yeah, thanks. But yeah, like this owl here, it shows no purpose whatsoever. Like, I, like they could remove this owl from the game and uh, nobody would notice, I feel. They also are a real prick and they auto put you on no instead of yes. Um, but yeah, as for like the kids and whatnot. Um, so like the only game that I've played that I feel like they've done it properly, not that it isn't still creepy, but it's uh, as far as I'm concerned properly, uh, is honestly Breath of the Wild, because in Breath of the Wild, they don't really go over it here. In fact, in here, it seems like the Zora grow up the same rate as people, because like, you know, you meet Princess Ruto as a kid, when you're grown up, she's grown up. Um, but the, uh, in Breath of the Wild, when you meet the Zora, you, there's actually a, uh, a Zora kid that you find. There's a little girl. I don't know. There's a quest that involves her. I don't remember if you need to find her or the other guy that's involved in the quest first. But either way, she wrote a note and sent it down the river in a bottle. We just have to wait for this to open, by the way. 
Uh, but yeah, she wrote a note and sent it down the river in a bottle. A guy finds it and then he wants to meet her because he thinks that whoever wrote the note is his soulmate for, or, or something to that effect. I don't know. I don't think they were, maybe they were passing notes back and forth with the bottle in the river, but since rivers only flow one way, I don't see how that's possible. Either way, point is, you go and find the guy. Dude looks grown up because he's a grown up. You take him to the Zora who looks like a child, but is like older than you are, even though you're already over 100 years old. Um, and I think they end up getting together. He ends up staying there anyway to be with her, which is a little creepy because once again, she looks like a child. But my point is, is that she was well over however many years old. So, I mean, not really a child. But now the thing is, is obviously if you go for humans, right, they have... You know, for the most part, you start growing up when you hit puberty and start growing up. Um, so, I mean, even if, like, you have, like, the kids and they're not sexually mature, I guess, would be the correct term, right? Like, they haven't went through puberty and whatnot. Um, mentally, they would still be mature if they've been alive for 130 years, you know? Like, it would be ridiculous to assume that they weren't. Alright, so... We're going to stop here in a second. I think it's about here. Nope. Uh, and we'll start the next part. We'll go into Castletown. We'll do shit in there. Uh, we'll go into Kakariko. Uh, but yeah, so that'll be it for this part. Thanks everybody for watching. And I will see you next time for more.